Welcome back guys. This is part three of our four part series, Demystifying Lending. My name is Jantika Bost and if you haven't seen part one and part two, you wanna make sure you check that out on my YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about some of the things that you should not be doing while waiting for my loan to be processed. So come on and let's get that started. So Cheryl, now we've got the loan process started. Can you tell me some of the things that I as a borrower should be doing and what shouldn't I be doing between okay. now and the time I have to sign and close my loan? Well, you, you should be uh, continuing your job. Don't change your job, don't quit your job. And you should watch your money spending. Don't go out and charge up your credit cards. Don't buy new furniture. Don't buy a new puppy or a car or a yacht. <laughs> um, make sure that you're not having your credit pulled a bunch of times because that might raise some red flags. Make sure that um, if you're using cash, uh, you really can't count that cash unless it's been in the bank already seasoned. Um, some people tell me they have a lot of money under their mattress or in the in their their. Um, uh, safe and or safe deposit box but we really can't count that cash that cash really has to be in the bank ahead of time and why do we have to season the cash because there's a uh, believe it or not there actually is a lot of mortgage fraud that goes on by the buying and selling of homes and so back in 2001 after 9-11 happened um, the, the industry just really uh, tightened, tightened the hatch I guess you could say and made sure that there's not money laundering going on uh, one thing also about your credit is um, if you think you need to have your credit fixed, don't go paying off old collections. That could bring old debts new again. And so I wanted to, I probably would mention that to my buyers when they were going through the pre-qualification and pre-approval process. With part three coming to an end, we are very close to the finish line. We only have one left. And I'm so thankful for those of you who are tuning in. Make sure you tune in for the final episode where we bring everything full circle. For this and other questions on real estate, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.